of the new earth spread your crystalline diamond wings and take flight rise up through the spiral of ascension the sacred vortex as world bridgers of the rainbow bridge bridging heaven to earth merging all worlds all realms all timelines all dimensions here in this final omega point the harmonic convergence of all timelines, all dimensions, all realms, through our sacred emerald heart center, we are activated in the golden light of the divine masculine Christos consciousness and the silver divine feminine of the Magdalene of the roses as the eagle and condor fly together, merging the silver and gold to create the silver gold lineage of the empire of love the kingdom of heaven on earth is the kingdom of love it is the empire of love eternal love and eternal light of the one true source the still white magnetic light at the center of all things that creates the heavenly chi that creates the prana the sacred breath the breath of life this is the sacred energy that pulses through the meridians of your sacred vessel and surrounds your vessel with infinite light and infinite life. Today on Kin 137, the 137 coming in all day to mirror the 731, the one and the many and the many and the one, the 37 into 73, a 1010 portal 1010, which is Yang Yin, Yang Yin. Feminine, masculine, feminine, masculine. It's the fluctuation. It is the pulse. And today, on the last day of April, as we transition into May, May Day, Beltane, powerful energies coming in today. And we receive some of the most powerful pulses, powerful plasma waves appearing on the Schumann resonance today. This was one of the most powerful higher dimensional pulses. We had a 57 hertz and a 75 hertz simultaneously. This is the mirror, the 57 of the 75. This is 1212 portal, the third portal to my sacred condor, and also the code of the 33 of mastery. The 33 together in divine union, the trinity of the trinities, creating the six of the Christos consciousness, the cosmic conscious, self-aware, self-awakened, ascended master that you are, and you remember your true self in this activation now. And that is exactly why you are hearing this voice now, these words now. It was the sound you heard in the void as you traveled between worlds. That is why many of you recognize this sound, this voice, this resonance, this frequency. This is the Tao coming through this vessel here now in this eternal light. And with the power of my mighty I Am Presence, I activate you, your I Am Presence, in this gnosis of who you truly are, the fully awakened Buddha conscious eternal beingness of light and of life. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And always remember that I and my Mother, Father, God, Creator, Source are one. There is no separation in truth. We experience separate realities, but this is the splitting and the merging of consciousness, the one and the many and the many and the one. 144, coming in now, the sacred code, the 12 by 12. This is the code of the 57 and the 75 that the Great Spirit showed you in the Schumann charts. We also had a 68 hertz which is the 13 of the divine goddess, the queen, the royal queens, the royal kings coming together now to create this final kingdom of love, this kingdom of truth, this kingdom of heaven on earth, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Kingdom of God, goddess, divine feminine, divine masculine, 
in this final shift, this final awakening, merging heaven and earth through our pure inner conscious mind. Okay, now back to the mundane. We shift between the sacred and the mundane moment by moment. So this is the first day. I use the new mic. Thank you to our bro stars and sisters of the light that donated to our harmonium and music fund. This is a new mic we purchased for our recordings to bring our sacred song, my divine goddess, my sacred condors, music and voice of the divine feminine to all of you. So we did receive the harmonium. It's going to take us some time to learn how to use this instrument, but we'll be bringing some sacred music. We're working on my queen's first release of one of her sacred songs, Spirit Made. You can listen to the pre-release on Patreon if you're one of our patrons. We have to re-record the song because there are a couple of glitches when we went to master the track. So we hope to have that out within the next week to release publicly. And then on iTunes, Spotify, and then we'll be bringing sacred songs, sacred mantras, beautiful music to all of you. So thank you everyone who donated. So the mic I'm using today is a new mic. So let me know in the comments if the sound is better, worse, same, indifferent, whatever. Let us know. And I'm hoping this new mic will save us some time in editing and rendering these daily recordings and then bring us better song, better sound for our recordings we'll be bringing to you in the near future. So thank you once again, everyone that donated to our fund. And we plan on bringing much beautiful music and songs of activations and sacred mantras to all of you in the near future. So we appreciate you all and your donations and your support for your beautiful comments and, and for sharing our work with your people and your tribes a whole. Now over the last 24 hours, we had 115 M1.5 or greater earthquakes. Within the last three hours, we had the most powerful of the day, a very powerful activation on the Ring of Fire in Japan, Ishino Maki 6.8. This was at 127 UTC, 38.23 latitude, 141.665 longitude, which synchronized with this powerful blast of higher dimensional white light on the Schumann charts this morning. This energy built up from this morning into this evening, with this powerful release. The Lemurian energy, the royal lion nation of Lyra, Earlier today on the Solomon Islands, also ring a fire just south of the equator, 5.1. Papua New Guinea, 4.4, 4, 114 kilometers depth, the 444 activation, also just south of the equator. Also in Peru, South America, in the Andes Mountains, Kundalini of Pachamama, the home of our sacred condors, 4.1. Then we had a 4-4 in Peru activation, Divine 44, Midland, Texas, 3.2, Alaskan Peninsula, 3.0, and the crown of Lemuria, Aleutian Island, 3.9, and the heart of Lemuria, just south of the Tropic of Cancer, Pahala, Hawaii, 3.0, 3.2, Indonesia, 5.1, Another activation, Japan, 4-4, Divine 44, very deep, 387 kilometers depth. Chile, South America, Andes Mountains, 4.6, Indonesia, 4.2, Myanmar, 4-4, South of Africa, our sacred land of Africa, 4.7, Akita, Japan, Ring of Fire, 4-5, and then Ishino, Maki, Miyagi, Japan for the 6-8, the most powerful activation of the last 24 hours and of this month, April, this powerful month of April. Northern Mariana Islands, 4.3, 305 kilometers depth. The whole ring of fire totally lit up, totally activated. This is part of the transmutation, the transfiguration, the resurrection, the ascension energies flowing in fully with these higher dimensional photons of plasma waves of light, frequency, sound. This is a transformation by frequency, 
by resonance, by sound, the sound of the Holy Spirit, the holy waters, the holy fire merging together, create the sacred steam to rise up. The mist of Avalon are being lifted, the veils are lifted into the new earth, the new Avalon, the new Eden, the eternal paradise of the pure land of bliss, eternal bliss consciousness. Now let us continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 6 degrees, 55 minutes Capricorn. The sun is at 11 degrees, 1 minute Taurus, 111 code. Current Sabian symbol for the moon at 7 degrees Capricorn. A veiled prophet speaks, seized by the power of God. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 12 degrees Taurus. A young couple walk down Main Street, window shopping, from astrologyweekly.com. And as they stroll down Main Street, they walk by Nancy Fry's art studio at 510. Harold and Nancy and Mary are with us now working with our archangelic teams of higher dimensional legions of light. For hark, the herald angels sing. Feel into the energy of that code, that frequency, that resonance. For herald is with you now, the great leader of the legions of light, working directly with our beloved archangel Mikael and the blue rays of the new earth. And now for the card, my sacred condor pull for you from the deck Forest of Enchantment Tarot from Lunea Weatherstone. The card she pull for you today is Two of Boons. A villager has been gathering firewood in the forest and is now wending his way home. The heavy baskets make a precarious burden, so keeping his balance on the narrow bridge should command his full attention. But his mind is elsewhere, not fully present with his task. It would be all too easy to fall off the bridge and smash on the rocks below. Not a pleasant prospect, even before you factor in the ogre. Wait, the ogre? An ogre is hiding under the bridge. This is a ferocious cannibal, and he would make quick work of the man if he fell. This card is a warning to not take on more than you can safely balance and attend to. There is something called the lazy man's load, where a person piles on the cargo to avoid having to make a second trip. This rarely ends well. Work sensibly, and give your full attention to your endeavor, or all could be lost. There are hidden influences just waiting for you to slip up, meaning at a glance, balance, steady attention, agility, taking care of your assets. Closer look. Ogres tend to blend into their surroundings, so they aren't always easy to spot. Vigilance is called for, if possible, peek under all bridges before crossing. And this kind of goes with the saying, hindsight is twenty twenty. This is also, we live and we learn from the past, while releasing, forgiving, but not forgetting. Namaste. And now today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Amanda Lawrence, Way Showers, just give to awareness. There will be a series of powerful incoming waves of energies from our sun over the next few days, most likely starting the evening of April 30th tonight, plus more on the 1st and the 2nd of May, possibly into Monday, May 3rd. Time reference is based on UK time zone. Whilst all incoming energies are ultimately designed to increase energetic vibration within humanity and upon Mother Earth, these next few days of incoming energy patterns, pulses and vibrations, light coatings, will uplift. I emphasize uplift human energetic frequencies. If relaxed, detached from the Maya, the matrix illusion, in no resistance and less thought forms of the personality you will feel the ecstasy the vibrational energies will present. As always, any and each incoming energetic pattern, light coding, takes three solar days to become fully integrated into the physical, cellular human body. Photon light coatings turn into the crystalline light within our cells. You may notice with these particular forthcoming energies that many unawakened shall awaken and show you their own signs of their awakening. 
Finally, just a word of wisdom. As with all powerful incoming energies, there can be the opposite play out in the illusions to simply witness. If you get immersed in any outer chaos, it will temporarily lower your energetic frequency at a timeline of such energetic waves. Remember, each hair are in the process of gradually mastering their energetic reaction to the old physical reality in order to hold and maintain higher energetic vibrations to later create from and service to one. Be ready, up, we shall go in frequency. Just relax to feel the ecstasy of these imminent incoming energies. One love, Amanda Lawrence. And from Jane 108 Academy. The human heart is a tetrahedron. The shape of the human heart resembles the triangular-based pyramid known as the tetrahedron. Tetra means four in ancient Greek, and the heart is known for its four chambers. It is a preferred form in nature's realm. Many pollens are tetrahedral. Some grains, like buckwheat seeds, are tetrahedral. Many crystals, many single-celled creatures like radiolaria are this shape so it is fit that the main organ of life the heart is tetrahedral minimum volume with maximum surface area within the encompassing sphere jane one zero eight academy dot com and that's j a i n and today from isis channelings as we weave through significant and life-altering gateways and milestones on a cosmic planetary and individual level the channeling sessions I provide need to be continuously fine-tuned to reflect the same. As we move from the spiral of awakening and transmutation to a brand new spiral of anchoring the new foundations of a new age based on balanced masculine and feminine energies in union, we are required to step up as agents of translating ancient cosmic wisdom into purposeful action via leadership, activism, and service. This reconnection to our ancient cosmic wisdom is available to us via the process of embodying our ancient wisdom as earth shamans and water priestesses by engaging the wisdom and magic of the air elements and transformational elements of fire so as to manifest spirit into reality we wish to create. It is now time to work our gifts of co-creation alchemy and manifestation so as to be in service at a whole new level of conscious co-creation sa k na from isis channelings dot wordpress dot com today from divine sister of the light judith kusel intense activations are happening deeply underground in the pyramids and the middle east liquid fire energy indeed all has lain dormant for thousands of years indeed drastic earth changes are being activated as the new epoch rises into prominence with the new earth the ripple effects will be felt this was programmed into the region millions of years ago i have never been shown anything like this before this is liquid spiraling energy and intensely powerful egypt like africa holds the spinal column of the earth an immense activity is going on here there may be a shaking of the earth there i do not know if there are earth fault lines there are volcanoes but something will give rise the new pyramids rise the new earth from judith kusel dot com and from divine sister of the light karen lithica full moon expansion as we release layers and layers to reach our inner sanctum our inner lineage of light we feel our ancestral ways now before us as we deeply connect to light. Know these are true sovereign energies as we reach this now moment, for the moon has many faces, an ancient doorway to light, of self-reflection, deep internal awakening, as the moon rays shine through the night, a magnifier of self-awareness, self-expression, and change, providing a gateway to past adventures, past moments and lives, Know the moon is a complex antenna of light, to tread gently and to see the frequencies as a tool of reflection and insight, for our true light calling lies within, leading us to the universal expansion of now, for we live in a construct of light, with limitations to reach true light. Always remember the true path, the true internal calling, to reach beyond the matrix lies within our inner light, to expand and fly beyond this construct of light. Love and blessings, Light Family, from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. 
We are leaving the wormhole and becoming one with Creator 144. Prepare for change, beloveds. New ideas, inspiring ideas, solidarity, and movement forward is happening for you, your family, and our tribe. The Divine Feminine Christ components of self, from your inner child to present self and your spirit, are all ready to move forward as one healthy, healed, and whole feminine version of self. Now you are becoming fully integrated and whole with Creator Self, Creator Mind, and Creator Raptured DNA. 1111, the dark night of the soul has come to an end. The finale of depressions caused from mental overloads is here with major endings and new beginnings. Whatever is releasing of emotions that has been occurring has been to release all stored mental programming and brainwashing that trapped you from finding yourself. The source codes of this information have been found and removed, this karma from the database system rapturing the mind for freedom. We are beginning a new cycle that completes in October 2021. Various degrees of motion sets us apart from all others. Our database has been cleared from the human collective database. The new nine have assured us that there are no shortages in our database. This means nothing will corrupt or corrode for our tribe. We are part of the new select that have their new heart's DNA lined up to the new force field of Christ consciousness, Christ frequencies, Christ tones, and Christ hearts. The next six months we are as a group walking into major transformation of our heart's DNA until it's completed as raptured DNA. The masculine and feminine self are merging in the root chakra over the next few weeks to complete the foundation of yourself, your life, and your energy body. Your root chakra upgrade is complete for you to hold the throne of God on the seat of your soul. The Phi frequency as a 144 is coming into full merger within for your genetic upgrade of Christ to take place. Tones, harmonies, and frequencies of the soul are coming to balance for heart merging to take place. When this completes, your oversoul comes forward, leading the way as part of your new self and new life, replacing all ego constructs of the mind that were previously leading yourself and your life. Ground crew, the collective database, is moving forward in a new direction of heart freedom. Our hearts beat as one. We are completing what commenced with 2018's Mars, Venus, and Jupiter retrograde seasons. All of these influxes of changes since that have been caused for you to see who you truly are as a starseed soul here on Earth. This version of yourself is ready to birth into reality. All the activation codes and markers have been set in place. Various degrees of motion stares us into the new directions that Mars, Jupiter, Venus retrogrades, and self have taken us under the authority of God. This is destined DNA in the making. You're a heartbeat away, beloveds. New dawn, new day, new cellular way. New one code. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. Now today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Elise, Gaia Daily, April 30th through May 3rd, May Flowers. There's electricity in the air this Beltane season with the Sun and Uranus together in Taurus. This is an activation of our bigger spiritual self. As the mind control grid breaks down, we are having the opportunity to come into a new level of intuitive power. Thousands of years of agendas have sought to separate us from our higher level abilities through fear and trauma. Mercury and Venus and Taurus are close to Black Moon Lilith and joining in sextile with Neptune and Pisces. The new dream of the new age is one based on higher intelligence. With an empowered feminine intuition, we can raise our creative thinking to a new level. We can use these visionary skills to dream our way out of the trap lower matrix. As Mercury and then Venus come to the end of Taurus, they will take turns squaring up with Jupiter and Aquarius. We are coming face to face with where we haven't been able to receive the abundance of who we really are in our star power. The world is waiting on supernova souls to go supernova and flower into their full potential. From AdrianElise.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah, White Horse, Lua Astrology. Sun conjunct Black Moon Lilith and Uranus and Taurus, Mercury and Taurus sextile Neptune and Pisces, the witch within awakens, 
stirring a desire for freedom, progress, and revolution. Maybe you want to reinvent yourself. Maybe you want to finally let yourself live the life that has been calling you. The earth shifts underfoot, flowers crack the pavement, life bursts up and out like a song. The choir chants, I'm worthy, I'm worth it. We're filled with anticipation, electric, wild. No more BS, no more feeling held back, no more living life under someone else's shadow. And as a cosmic thrill blasts through us, the mind is filled with color, ideas, a tumbling waterfall of thoughts. We're telling a story, writing a poem, having a long and meandering conversation with a loved one. We're expressing forgiveness because life is just too short to hold on to that. We're speaking of angels, miracles, prayer. Give your inner artist a voice and let your soul speak. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 137, Red Resonant Earth. Resonant is the name for the number seven, and its keywords are attune, inspire, and channel. We are right in the middle of the blue monkey wave spell, and finally well clear of the intense, squishy bit in between the two portal day columns. It's not over yet, mind you. When we are at the top of the next column, red spectral dragon, loud ringing in the left ear, the intensity will transform into awesomeness. This is the third wave spell of the notorious blue western castle of burning. The last wave spell is yellow seed, which also contains ten portal days, but it is more rewarding than intense, in my personal opinion. The seed yields a cornucopia harvest and many good things come out of it. This is a day seven, the monkey wave spell, which translates into fine-tune your intuition. Be still and listen for instructions. Today is red earth, which represents evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. These instructions that are waiting for you, if you can tune into the right frequency, will lead you to evolve. Navigation is about steering yourself in the right direction once you have understood these instructions. Again, use your intuition and you'll know just what to do. The guide today is the red moon, which symbolizes going with the flow. As always, when moon guides us, we must surrender and relinquish control and trust that things will work out. This laid-back attitude is very good for channeling, too, so permit yourself to chill. Today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Resonant Earth, Kin 137, 30 April 2021, Attuning to Earth Magic. 34 2021 20, equal 3 4 5 equal 3 9 equal 12 equal 3 30 introspection meditation 4 foundation structure base angelic earth 5 change transformation liberation freedom 9 endings destiny mission humanity grace 3 holy trinity joy creativity kin 137 equal 11 code portal gate polarity a much more yin feminine day today attuning to the earth magic of pachamama day seven and the blue monkey wave spell of magic joy bliss play merriment and a return to innocence today we are asked to slow down listen and attune to the synchronicities which lead us to greater magic and bliss tone of creation resonant tone seven in the emotional realm action inspires power channel essence attunement the resonant tone very powerfully ignites the potential for great alchemy today, as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel the magical forces available to us all, to walk through the doorways offering new pathways and opportunities. Today we are super-sensitive as we are attuned through our senses, the emotional feeling body, so tune in and feel what your body is sensing. What signals are you receiving? At tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment. Number 7 is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, which doubles the magic of the monkey wave spell today. What are you attuned to today? What form of magical portal will you manifest? Feel the power of spirit coursing through your veins and allow nature to soothe your soul and heal your ailing techno-stressed bodies open to the flow of chi that meanders majestically through the rivers, mountains, and woods of the natural world to accomplish great healing today. 
Enjoy this beautiful, gentle day, beloveds. Stop, listen, connect, and revel in the magic of synchronicity. Today's question is how can I attune to the synchronicities leading to the flow of more magic and bliss in my life, divine blessings for attaining magical resonance with the bliss codes of Pachamama today. We are one. In La Keka La Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 137, Red, Resonant Earth. The mantra, the code today is, I travel in order to evolve. Inspiring synchronicity, I seal the matrix of navigation. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of universal water. And on this powerful day of divine feminine waters, the holy water, the holy spirit, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what are you experiencing, what are you feeling, what are your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to take the time to thank everyone that's supporting us in our work and mission. We rely on our monthly pledges on Patreon and our donations for our daily living expenses and to be able to continue our work in bringing these transmissions to the world daily. So if you'd like to support our work and link, you can make a monthly pledge or one-time donation at egolovecondor.com. We appreciate all of you and your continued support. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my sacred condor and her art business. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Nicole Johnson, for your purchase today. Much appreciated, Divine Sister, and my queen has a Mother's Day sale for the next week and a half until May 11th. For Mother's Day, she's having 20% off all of her beautiful art. She added several new healing bracelets today and several new goddess totems. So be sure to check these out and get your mother a beautiful gift that she deserves for being the great mother that she is. And you can check these out at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to end today's transmissions with a couple activations. One again from our Pleiadian Bro Stars and Sisters of the Light. Pleiades 1, Messages, April 30th, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Wizards perform for healing dances. Disorders continue to be mitigated. Lemurians present themselves in mastery. Sentinels continue to increase searches for cures. Mental reorganizations are still underway. Self-charges decrease. Nevic deepening in progress. Cycles finalizing in progress. Feminine divines express themselves. Risks of major disorders, zero. Island of Purification, Projectors Aimed and in Support, 83% Non-Regressive. Special Sensors are installed for Momentum. Island of Dream being mapped, Projectors Aimed and in Support, 83% Non-Regressive. Temporarily End of Transmission, Pleiades 1, Potentiating Shamanic Inheritances. From DisclosureNews.it and today from Divine Brostar of the Huna Nation, Lee Parore, Electric Body, Energetic DNA, Geometric, Alchemical Inner Space, Crystal Star Tech, Species Transition, Crossroads, Life Force, Instinct to Evolve, Three Plus Dimensions or Nothing, Symptoms of Light Programming, Atomic Shift, Quantum Layer, Dimensional Resonance, DNA, Cosmic Mainframe, Celestial Coding, Astral Dynamics, Galactic Grid, Vesica, Fractal, Mother Creatrix, Golden Ratio Harmonics, Straight Middle Expansion, Alchemical Circle Divided by 10, Decagon DNA Maths Code, 10 times 144 degree, Golden Triangles, Grand Procession, Five Proportions, Nature's Living Continuum, Temple of Source Light, Cosmic Birthing, Primordial Lagoon, Chalice of Living Plasma Light, 
human becoming three-strand DNA, conscious, subconscious, superconscious, brain hemispheres sync to spiritual being, silver, gold frequency, magnum, opus, inner unification, procession of the equinoxes, elliptic ascending gate of man, Orion silver gate, cosmic eye, circuit path around galactic center, sequence of consciousness gateways, golden gate two celestial spheres, four quadrants of planetary sphere, marked by four royal stars, under Ophiuchus right foot, golden gate multiverse, spiritual being soul activation, transition earth frequency, expanding bandwidth innovation, turtle island light in action, kids cusp of galactic wave, symbiotic telepathic tech, consciousness renaissance, footnote, the Hegelian dialectic, centralization of power, manufactured terrorist viral threat, repressive police state, removal of freedoms, problem, reaction, solution, corrupts truth in plain sight, worlds a stage, time lords in play. So thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Keep shining your light brightly into the night, into the void. And today, being the last day of April, 43021, we have the code 4321. This is a countdown to the most powerful month of May and into Beltane season, also into the 5-5 five, five portal of the higher dimensional fifth sun of God. This is the F Lemuria 5 of 5D of the new earth, of the golden age, the new Jerusalem, the new Eden the new paradise, Shambhala, of the eternal bliss consciousness. So feel this in your heart center as you rise into the glory of the divine light of your sacred self, ascending masters of the new earth. We are all in this together. We walk each other. Om. Om Mani Padme Hom. Om Shiva Graksha Babaji Yog. Om Siddhi Siddhi Hom. Om Hring Kling Siddhi Siddhi Hung Om Hring Kling Siddhi Siddhi Hung Om Hring Kling Siddhi Siddhi Hung Aho Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart as you walk gently barefoot upon back of Gaia the skin of Pachamama, Mother Earth. All we leave behind are our footprints in the sand and in the dirt and live in our sacred heart center being connected to all things in all timelines, all dimensions, all realm. Have a beautiful and blessed Beltane and an amazing awakening month of May. May all your true heart's desire come into fruition through the power of your co-creative manifestation power and the glorious light of your infinite creative potential make this day the best day ever make every day even better for day by day in every way i am getting better and better in my expansion in my gnosis and in my love the eagle and the condor love you all namaste